Welcome back to the show, everyone. Today, we're diving headfirst into one of the most hotly debated topics in the world of artificial intelligence, bias. Specifically, we're asking the big question, can AI ever be truly unbiased or are we just fooling ourselves? Before we get too deep into that, let's take a step back and talk about what bias actually means in this context. Bias, in its simplest form, is when a system or person favours one outcome or group over another in an unfair way. In humans, bias can be conscious or unconscious. We all have biases, whether we like it or not. They come from our experiences, upbringing, culture, and sometimes even from things we're not aware of. When we build AI systems, we try to make them objective, logical, and free from these kinds of human flaws. But here's the kicker. AI is built by humans, and the data it uses is generated by humans too. So even though the machine itself doesn't feel bias, it can absolutely learn it. Let's take a real world example. You've probably heard about some of the high profile failures of AI in hiring systems. There was that famous case with Amazon a few years back where they built an AI tool to help with recruitment. The idea was that the AI would scan resumes and help the company identify the best candidates. Seems smart, right? Except it wasn't. It turns out the AI was penalizing resumes that included the word women and was favoring resumes from men over women. Why? Because the AI had been trained on historical hiring data that was biased toward men, likely because the tech industry has historically been male dominated. So the AI picked up on patterns that reflected that bias and reinforced it in its decision making. Amazon had to scrap the system because instead of making the hiring process more fair, it was doing the opposite. This example shows how bias sneaks into AI systems without anyone really intending for it to happen. But it also raises the question, can we ever truly get rid of this kind of bias in AI? Or is it baked into the very foundation of how these systems work? Let's consider the idea of data for a second. AI systems need a massive amount of data to learn from. They analyze patterns in the data to make predictions or decisions. But data itself is rarely neutral. Take a look at any data set and you'll probably find that it reflects the biases of the society it was collected from. For instance, if you're training an AI system on medical data from the United States, you might find that the data underrepresents certain groups like racial minorities or women. Maybe the system hasn't been trained on enough data from these groups. Whatever the reason, if the AI doesn't have enough representative data, it might make worse predictions for those groups. Another area where bias shows up in AI is facial recognition technology. And this one's gotten a lot of attention for good reason. There have been numerous studies showing that facial recognition systems are far less accurate at identifying people with darker skin tones. In fact, some studies have shown error rates for darker skinned women that are 34% higher than for lighter skinned men. This is a huge problem, especially since facial recognition is being used more and more by law enforcement agencies who are relying on it to identify suspects. Imagine being wrongfully accused of a crime just because an algorithm couldn't properly identify your face due to the color of your skin. That's not just bias. That's dangerous. So why do these biases happen in facial recognition systems? It often comes down to the training data again. If the system is primarily trained on images of white men, it's going to get really good at recognizing white men. But it's going to struggle when it comes to people who don't fit that mold because it hasn't had enough exposure to diverse faces. It's not the AI's fault per se, but that doesn't make the outcomes any less problematic. Now, when people talk about fixing bias in AI, a lot of the conversation revolves around trying to improve the data. The thinking goes, if we can just feed the AI better, more diverse and more representative data, it'll learn to make better, less biased decisions. And to some extent, that's true. The more balanced your data set, the more likely your AI system is to make fair decisions. But even if you give an AI system perfect data, which is a pretty tall order in itself, there's still another layer of bias that can come into play. And that's the bias of the developers themselves. We will get back to the podcast in just a second. This is just a note from me that if you want to learn how to get hands on with data, you can find courses on Python, Apache Spark and more at cody.co.uk.
Developers and data scientists are the ones who design and build AI systems, and they bring their own assumptions and perspectives to the table. These human biases can unintentionally shape the way an AI system is built, from the way data is labeled to the kinds of questions the AI is programmed to answer. For example, if a developer assumes that certain traits or behaviors are normal or ideal, they might train the AI to prioritize those traits without even realizing it. So even if the data is pristine, the way the AI is trained to interpret that data can still be skewed. This brings us back to the question, can AI ever be truly unbiased? At this point, it's hard to imagine a world where AI is completely free from bias because at its core, AI reflects the world we live in. And let's be honest, the world is full of biases. But that doesn't mean we should just throw up our hands and accept biased AI as inevitable. We can and should work to reduce bias in AI as much as possible. One promising approach is to create more diverse teams of developers. If you have people from different backgrounds working on AI systems, they're more likely to spot potential biases and think critically about how to address them. Diversity of thought and experience is key to building fairer systems. Another strategy is to conduct regular audits of AI systems to check for bias. This means going back and looking at how the AI is performing over time, examining the outcomes for different groups of people, and making adjustments as needed. Some companies are already starting to do this, and it's a positive step toward accountability. But here's another angle that we need to consider, transparency. A lot of AI systems are basically black boxes. They take in data, run it through a bunch of complex algorithms, and spit out an answer. But nobody outside of the company that built the system really knows how it got to that answer. This lack of transparency makes it hard to hold AI systems accountable. If an AI system makes a biased decision, say denying someone a loan or unfairly targeting a specific group for surveillance, how do you prove it? How do you even begin to challenge that decision if you don't know how it was made? This is where explainability comes into play. Some AI researchers are working on ways to make AI systems more explainable, meaning that they can show their work, so to speak. An explainable AI system might be able to tell you why it made a certain decision and what data or patterns it was relying on. If we can get to a point where AI is more transparent, it becomes a lot easier to identify and address bias when it pops up. Another interesting concept that's being explored is the idea of fairness-aware AI. This is where AI systems are designed to actively minimize bias. Developers can program fairness constraints into the system, making it less likely to favor one group over another. For example, a fairness-aware hiring algorithm might be programmed to ensure that it doesn't disproportionately select candidates from a particular gender or racial group. Of course, even this approach has its challenges because fairness itself is subjective. What one person considers fair might not seem fair to someone else. So where does all of this leave us? Can AI ever be truly unbiased? The honest answer is probably no, not completely. Bias in some form or another seems like it's always going to be a part of AI because AI is built by humans and reflects the world we live in, biases and all. But that doesn't mean we're powerless to make things better. While we may never achieve perfect neutrality, we can certainly work toward reducing bias in meaningful ways. By improving the quality of the data we feed into AI systems, creating more diverse teams of developers, making AI systems more transparent and explainable, and actively building fairness into our algorithms, we can at least move in the right direction. The key is to stay vigilant. Bias in AI isn't something we can solve once and be done with. It's an ongoing process, one that requires constant attention, regular audits, and a willingness to adapt as we learn more. If we can commit to that, we might not ever get to a point where AI is perfectly unbiased, but we can certainly build systems that are fairer, more equitable, and more just. Thanks for sticking with me through this deep dive into AI bias. It's a complicated topic, but an important one, especially as AI continues to play a bigger role in our lives. So what do you think? 
Can we ever truly build an unbiased AI or is it just a pipe dream? Let me know your thoughts. And as always, stay curious. Yeah.